What's going on, people? Back at it again with another amazing video. All right, guys, you're wondering why you're seeing my table right now? Well, I'm going to tell you something. How about a product review that will kind of rock your world and remotes? Now, if you got a, a sound bar, your fire stick, and your TV, okay, and you're using all these remotes just so you can enjoy your entertainment as in watch a movie or if you're using like a roku anything pretty much with an ir okay okay anything pretty much with an ir you have all those remotes just to watch one movie or a tv series and you're like this is tiring i'm tired of it well guess what man sofa Patan came out with a universal remote that i honestly say surpasses anything that I tried. It is called the U1. So, and this remote, to be honest with you, it's pretty badass, okay? And the reason why I say this is you can control your Fire Stick, your Roku, your Apple TV, your regular TV, um, sound, pretty much Android box. Pretty much it eliminates all the remotes and it puts it on one okay and that being said okay it works with your apple um phones as you because you do have to download an app and you're gonna have to um bluetooth it to the remote super easy and i'm gonna show you what i mean and as well it's good with um as you see here it's good with google play which is android and among other things here too guys let me see if i could get this sucker in focus there you go it says it supports multiple devices. It is complete IR code on the cloud, which is pretty cool. It means it could pretty much almost link up with anything. But I'm not saying 100%. I had the stuff that I have, it pretty di it did pretty darn well. Also, you have the advanced OLED screen, which honestly, it's just that. Okay. And um, it's uh, you have to get it the mobile device. It's totally a uh, mobile app. It's totally free, and you can customize the buttons. You know, you could cust fully customize the buttons to your liking or what you want. Okay, and let me see. There you go. And it has a micro key. Customize. Now, to show you bet this bad boy. Let's open this up. It's like a, a universal remote for all. Now, the instructions. I love this. I love these guys because they make it super simple. All right. And when I say super simple, it's five steps. Check it out. I'm sorry. I'm holding my one my phone with one hand. But pretty much this is it. You have you load the batteries, download Sofa Patan app, either for our, uh, Apple or Android. You um, connect your remote by Bluetooth. Okay, from your phone, and <laughs> you add the device of what you want to do, and you can reassign the remote keys and all that good stuff, and that's it. You get started. That's how easy it is, and if you need any help, you also could check them out. Oh, my nails are so dirty. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. And you also can check out Sofa Patan at Outlook.com if you have any questions. Also, I will have their link down below to um, their link down below to their Amazon store. Okay, so let me real quick go on the back side of this so you show you and all the formalities as you see. Okay, now the remote itself, I like it. It's it's just about the size of my regular TV remote, maybe a little bit smaller, okay? And what's nice about it is this here, which I'm about to show you when I put the batteries in. And as you see, it has your usual buttons. These here, it kind of reminds me of the Android, um, Android uh, remote for the boxes, but it's pretty good. It feels as well built and... I like it, but let me plug in the um, batteries and see this bad boy turn on. And as you see, the batteries, they come actually right in here, okay? And it turns right on. Now it says you have to connect this to your Sofa, Sofa Baton app, which 
I'm going to do, and then we'll go from there, okay? Give me one second. All right, guys. I downloaded the Sofa Baton app on my wife's uh, tablet. So once you download it on your tablet or iPad, all you have to do is open it up. Now, it's going to ask you to turn your Bluetooth on. So all you do is you turn your Bluetooth on, okay? And then, as you can see, it tells you to press the minus button and the E button so you can pair with your device to your remote. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. Let me see here. Sorry about the glare off of the tablet. Let's close that real quick. So what we're going to do is press this here and this here together. See how it says pairing? I'm going to open that up. Give me one second. It is pairing. Okay, so you guys see it paired. It took a little longer than normal, but it paired. Sometimes I notice it, um, some people were telling me it loads up a lot quicker. Mine took a little bit. But as you see, it says here, add device. You see that? And then it actually shows you the next step. So what you're going to do is hit add. Now, there's a couple things you could do. You could just simply click the Fire TV. If you had a Roku TV, Apple TV, or a TiVo. Okay? If you have one of those, you can use it and... It pretty much almost sets itself. But as what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it for my Fire Stick remote, my um, TV, and I'm going to try something else. But for this video, I'm just going to connect it to my uh, TV. So as you see, you could do it either selecting on the database, like, you know, the name brand of the TV, or doing it learning mode, which you take your original remote of your TV and put it to your um, sofa baton remote and it'll learn it that way uh, and and or you could use a Bluetooth mode okay we're gonna do the first one so we're gonna click here and as you've seen here you have many different devices you could choose from okay and even if you hit other let's see what comes out you have all those brands even have an Xbox awesome but anyways we're gonna just back out it's a TV hit tv and it is a western house so instead of just like searching all the names and stuff i'm just going to type the name in and put west and there it is western house click that now it's telling me to put the remote towards the tv it says point your u1 remote towards the tv you need to test the commands to find the matching database okay so it's facing the TV okay so next thing we're gonna do is hit next and it says point see even says on the thing point towards the device now it's telling me to let me see here it says power so control IR so we're gonna hit power and nothing happened so did this command see look TV still on Nothing happened. So did this command work? No. So now it goes to number two. We're gonna hit power. Nothing. So we hit no. And we'll go to three. Still nothing. So we hit no. Hopefully it'll <laughs> come soon because I don't wanna bore you guys hit no no okay give me one second okay turned off my tv now it was a 12 try so yes it turned it off and there it goes now please it says please a name select an icon on your t for your device the name is westinghouse and device icon will be the TV. We can, it looks like we can actually change this. So we're gonna hit there. Yes, we can. Or so we're gonna hit there and we're gonna write. There we go. And you know what? Make it all like fancy light. Let's go with a capital L. I don't think it'll make a difference. So we hit done. And the icon, it's a TV. 
It looks like we can change it around, uh, but we'll leave it on TV. And we'll hit next. And it's loading. And it looks like it's downloading, programming itself to the uh, remote. Give it a second. Pause the video real quick. And there we go. You see it says done, and it says living room. And now this is where you can remap, pretty much customize your um, buttons there. The assign buttons are green, the micro keys, Bluetooth keys, and the learn keys are the blue ones. And pretty much it looks like it's all there. So, honestly, I don't want to change anything because everything's there. Pretty much what I want, volume, channels, home button. I mean, it's all good. You know what I mean? Assign keys. Yeah, and plus it looks... Oops. Let me see. Hit the zero. Yeah, see, look. You can reassign the remote key. Learn from original remote. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can learn from the original remote itself. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. But anyways, I like the settings of how it is there. I'm going to hit done. Oops. Hit done. And that's it. All right. Let's see if this works. So, I have program living room. All right. Now, I'm going to turn it on. Let's hit TV. And, yeah. My TV is older TV, so it takes a little bit to turn on. Oh, look at that. Pretty nifty. Let me see. <clears throat> there we go. Let me see how the volume. Yep, there goes your volume. And I know I'm going to change the channel. Well, actually, let's see if it changes input. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's a little funny on this one. If you hit input, it just flickers back and forth. But um, let me see it change. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty much on the TV, all I really wanted to do. Yeah, see, the one thing I did notice is when you hit remote or the you hit like a menu or something. There you go. It looks like you got to press it twice. So let me try input. It looks like you got to mess with it a little to make it stay. Let me see. Well, you get the idea. It works pretty good. All right. So I say it's pretty simple to hook up. But um, let me pause this video and give you my uh, final thoughts. And also, I'm going to program my fire stick to it. Okay. And see if I could do my sound bar. All right. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, guys. My final thoughts on this remote. I honestly like it, okay? Four and a half out of five stars because of the simple fact the half a star is because it doesn't link to my sound bar, which is kind of lame, but that's fine. If you got a sound bar that will work with this device, that it works really good for yours, that's what's up. But I just want to show you, I put, let me see if I can get in focus. See how it says living room, but that's for my living room TV show you what I mean. I can change the volume. Okay. I can change that volume up and down as you, let me see here, see there. And let me zoom in better. And let's say, for example, I want to control my fire stick. I simply just scroll down. It's a little out of focus. Scroll down where it says fire stick and it should connect by Bluetooth. Just click left or right until there you go. You see how the little Bluetooth symbol comes up? And guess what, guys? I am controlling my fire stick. There you go. Yep. And for the fire stick or fire boxes, um, you will have to connect to Bluetooth, which is simple to do. You will just go into settings on your fire stick, which I'll show you right now. Just go to settings. And you're going to go to remote and controls and bluetooth you go into there and you just go to other bluetooth and then you see, see sofa baton and then you just pair it that's simple honestly it's a great remote now let's talk about price it is a little pricey it is around 47 bucks on amazon i know you guys are like whoa never mind video's over don't want to talk about it i'll be honest with you it's worth it okay because it does minimize the remote cluster which some individuals have like three, four different remotes just to do one simple thing. And that's to watch their entertainment. You know what I mean? Like their TV or whatever that case may be. 
honestly, this remote, it's pretty good. Um, it has many ways so it can learn your remotes to put it on here. And you can put put on many different devices. Uh, let me see if I can get that sucker in. There we go. And you can control it many different ways. I just have it for two. Honestly, check it out. If not, hey, thanks for stopping by. I know the review video is a little longer than normal, but check it out. Links are down below to their Amazon store, Sofa Baton. Um, sure enough, they have great product. Uh, they have other products as well if you're not interested in the U1. But like I said, all in all, it's four and a half. And the only reason why I give it a half, uh, four and a half is because it doesn't connect to my Bluetooth. I have a Polk Audio soundbar, or what I said, connect to my Bluetooth, connect to my soundbar, which I have a Polk Audio. Um, if anything, guys, if it connects to your Bluetooth, that's what uh, I keep on saying Bluetooth connects to your soundbar. That's what's up. Anyways, end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Guys, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Also, check out Sofa Patana and their other great product. All right, guys. Talk to you later.